Welcome to my allotment diary for the second and third weeks of December 2017, part two. I started this upload where I ended part one with the cutting of the shelf flats adjacent to the bench legs. To date, I have only listed and used three tools so far. That's a drill with bits and a pocket hole jig, a two inch paintbrush and now a saw. There are tools used but not listed because they're there and are quicker. The purpose of cutting the first laths is so I can count the number of slats required for spacing with an odd piece of material to calculate the spacings which turned out to be 10 per shelf. This information was taken back to the shed but not before I had turned the bench over to expose those areas not reachable on the first coat. The block was fixed to the bench as a stop. This allows me to cut 20 shelf slats all the same length. The cut lengths were bundled up into a manageable package and duly painted. I had a classic comment on the last upload from Fifty Shades of Green regarding DIY painting. His dad used to call it fits in colour because every time I asked him what colour are we going to paint it dad, he answered would be fits in son. That meant if it's in the shed that's the colour it will be. So where we are on painting this fits in. That's worth a shout out. Look his channel up. Here's the address. If it's in paint now dry, the laths are laid out, cramped together, weighted down front and back edge bevelled off with a sweep of the router. That's 10 done in the time it takes to plane one end. Or bevelled using a rasp. using a block and sandpaper. Now we come to drilling. We've got uh, 20 bores to do, that's 80 holes and also 80 counter sinks. So a pillar drill again makes short work of it but of course you can use just the ordinary drill. But if so, I find it better to countersink it first using a larger bit and then following up drilling the pilot hole. Or you could use one of these. Back on the allotment, it's then a simple task to screw the boards in place.
ensure that there's enough power still in the drill to complete the job. I had to finish it the old fashioned way. Back home to recharge the drill, but not before we give the edges a little touch up. Drill fully charged and a few pots of tea down me, it's back to the allotment and finish off the next shelf. Shelves in, the next job now is really to build the drawers or to build a substructure for the drawers and then I can uh, put the top on which really completes this and makes it usable. Anyway, I've got some harvesting to do. And with it being the Christmas period, a new year, I won't be able to buy any wood and I'm out of wood to make those drawer bases or the top. Never mind. Next year. Being Christmas Eve, I'm under instruction by my good lady to harvest some parsnips for our Christmas dinner tomorrow. And I also need some leeks. So here we go. Whether it's ugly or not, it'll make soup. Today is the last day of the year of 1976, so I'm just having a little walk around just to make sure everything's okay. The lid off the toolbox had blown off but I put that back on again and uh, this is it. Farewell 1976, here's to 1978. Thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this video and if you liked it that much how about a thumbs up but uh, do please comment I do like the comments but for the end of the year it's goodbye and seasonal greetings to everyone Happy New Year everyone Happy New Year <laughs>